Welcome. So we're going to show you what it's like setting up the Dashlane encryption service. So I already have it set up, but we can kind of walk through it. So what you'll do is you go in to edit to the encryption service settings. And it's relatively simple. So you'll see here you're going to pick where you're going to de deploy it. You're going to add in your service endpoint, which is basically just your company domain, dash SSO, dash Azure websites.net, because we're using Azure. You're going to click copy for the schema. And then you're going to click on this go to services host. And we'll build one. I'll destroy it after just so you can see how it works. So you can see here it takes you right into a custom deploy template. So I'm going to pick my resource group. And then actually what we're going to do here is we're going to click edit parameters. Get to control A, delete, control V because we copied those those settings hit save and so it's going to actually populate all this i'm just going to throw a two in here just because we already have it built see it's going to do all this it automatically populates everything we're going to do review create it's going to do validation we're going to click create and so it's going to go ahead and it's going to deploy that service and this is literally all you'll have to do once this says it's all ready and set and done you'll go back in here you'll click close and then what will happen here is is that you'll see the service eventually will come up you'll see it here you can click refresh to bring it back up and it might end up telling you you have to restart the service which is really no big deal either let me show you that real quick so inside of your app services here you know you basically you'll go in you'll click into it and then if you have to, you can actually click the restart button and it'll actually restart that service. But that's really all you're going to have to really worry about for the most part. You'll pretty much be good to go. So once that's up and running, you'll be able to go in and you edit and set up your single sign-on. Just that simple.